So good morning guys, it's day two. Uh, we've gotten a pocket Wi-Fi from Japan Wireless and we're gonna check out of our hotel right now, move into the apartment. So let's go. So we have moved to the apartment and we're now going to get food supply. So there might be a lockdown. We brought our uh, backpacks and a suitcase. So let's go. пропали entertain yourself on a quarantine <laughs> it's not a quarantine it's just being safe at home what is it? it's Pokemon so the wife is editing photos from the previous photo shoot so the wife who is a lawyer She's speaking to her boss right now, and mm -hmm. yes. they would probably let her okay, work I'll come from out. Japan. I'll yep. talk with Mila also. So the wife is a lawyer. Uh, she can work remotely, of course, with a laptop. And thankfully, we brought our laptop. Uh, but I'm a conductor. I can't conduct <laughs> remotely. Um, so the only thing I can do is to just study my scores. I have my iPad with me. Um, I was supposed to have some concerts lining up for the rest of the year, but I'm not sure if they're on or not. I'll just study them and <laughs> that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my time here, probably. Okay, uh, it's day two in Tokyo and we are stranded. So we just thought that we should um, sort of explain our situation a little more clearly. Uh, I have been away from Russia since January because I'm an orchestra conductor. I work around the world and I found myself in Tokyo. And I thought that uh, my wife join me in Tokyo because it's the spring season and there's sakura everywhere so uh, we both traveled to Tokyo and then things got a little messy things got locked down uh, well Russia got locked down 
um, the EU got locked down, so we had to change a few flights. I think it was, what, 10, 11? Yeah, so flights were cancelled, flights were rescheduled, uh, and then cancelled again, <laughs> and rescheduled again. So basically, we didn't choose to, yeah, we didn't choose to extend our stay. So uh, we are not exactly enjoying ourselves, but we are trying to stay positive. Uh, but basically, our flights keep getting rescheduled. And the final, final, final flight uh, back to the homeland was supposed to be on the 5th of April. That was first supposed to be on 7, then a shadow on 6, then a shadow on 5th. Yeah. And 5th, they say cancel. So, yeah. So, on the 4th of April, Russia decided, hey, let's just cancel every flight. And so, we have been stuck here. Uh, and that's why we until have been stuck. Moment. Yeah, until the next available flight. So there's an open date on our ticket. We have tickets yeah. on our hands, but uh, we, just we have no date. idea why. Yeah. But also another thing, as a foreigner, he cannot come back to Russia. Yeah, I only have a resident status in Russia, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, but we are trying to sort of bet on the fact that she's here and we have our marriage, marriage certificate. certificate with us, thank God. Uh, thank that, me. Yeah. <laughs> that we can return to... And I bring all documents with Russia. me. <laughs> yeah, because there are some new laws which the Prime Minister of Russia uh, signed into place that says that all family members, spouses, uh, children, Father, uh, mother, parents, parents, yeah, they can return to Russia. If they prove by documents. Yeah, they have to have proof. So we have proof. Yeah, but not every flight take these yeah. kind people. Yeah, so Aeroflot says they would, well, they said they would. Yeah. Uh, S7 is a little tricky. Say you can try. Tricky. <laughs> try, yeah. it's like, okay, um, you can try. Yeah, Aurora, we have no idea. Aurora, I just saw they cancel everything, so. so. Aurora, before say, we don't take foreigners, so we are like, just give up with them and decide to wait our air, air float, promised flights. Yeah, so and it's quite horrible because, uh, the we heard that the last flight to Russia only had fifteen passengers on board. Fifteen on, on Aurora, on Aurora. Yeah, fifteen passengers on board when they could have taken more than a hundred people. So we have no idea why or because what's going on. Because most of the on. people they sit in with Aeroflot ticket, which is going to Moscow. Because nobody need go to Yuzhna Sakhalinsk. Everybody yeah. need go Moscow, and then from Moscow go to their cities. Yeah. So nobody knew about this flight because yeah. it was supposedly cancelled online. Yeah. But they still flew with only 15 people. It was horrible. So, I yeah. mean, we have no comments. Uh, I'm sure they also doesn't know until the last minute that they can go. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm gonna also say, uh, by, by yeah. flight, Shadow is still there, but they yep. don't know. So, yeah, so basically we've been stuck here. Uh, we have moved to an apartment, an amazing apartment, thanks to our very good friend. Uh, but we're trying to keep her privacy, so we're not going to show you how the apartment looks like. But we are very thankful. If you know who you are, thank you very thank much. You. Uh, it helps. It, it helped us a lot. Uh, in the meantime, we're just waiting for our flight. Uh, and we would also post a separate travel vlog. Which I made before. Uh, yeah. On before we know that all this yeah. happened. On how Japan currently looks without tourists. Because it's quite interesting. There mm. are actually no tourists. Very, little, very few very tourists little, around. Yeah. They yeah. uh, still have, but yeah. less. So today yeah, we just quickly left the hotel, came here, we took a suitcase and two extra bags and went to buy lots of food. Uh, so we would show you uh, yeah. our stock <laughs> soon. Uh, and then, If you want to find cheap food, ask neighbors. <laughs> yeah, so... Where the people usually buy food. Because yeah. uh, Tokyo very expensive actually, city and the food expensive. Uh, and the small shops like 7-Eleven, you can spend a lot of money, but mm. the local people know the, the, another shops where you can buy food. Yep. 
So, so if you are a fellow tourist oh, yeah. or short-term visitor stuck in Tokyo, yeah, you know what to do. Ask local. Ask people around you, ask your neighbors, yeah. and you can find. Uh, basically, food is cheap. Uh, in that shop. Yeah. So you'll see. I well, I, I plan is to Russia, cook. Russia cheaper, right? Yeah, Russia is pretty much cheaper. cheaper food. Yeah. Okay, so we won't be speaking too much and bore you guys. Uh, I'm going to cook right now. And I will watch this. Yeah, so, well, basically in Russia, I'm always the one cooking anyway, so I love to cook, so I'm going to cook. Because you know all this Asian style recipe. food, recipe, Japanese, recipe. Singaporean, Chinese, and So it's, stuff. it's actually perfect because I always cook Japanese food in yeah. Russia and right now I get to find every single ingredient. Yeah. So, and I know how to cook things cheaply. So, yeah, so we'll share some uh, food stuff also. So he's for cooking and for cleaning. Yeah. Teamwork. Yep. And then, well, we'll just show you what we have been up to every day. So probably every day we'll just stop at home. Yeah, I think our videos will just get a bit um, a bit shorter every day. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can work from home. Yeah. So I brought my laptop. That's great. Uh, she'll be able to work from home. So yep. So thank you for listening in, and yeah, stay tuned for our next video then. Bye.